Last thing I want to do is to add some holes here for the screws. So I select this face and go to the sketch environment and select the point tool and put the point here. Now I want to add some constraints for the point. First one is to add the distance between this and the horizontal vector. That's going to be 150 millimeters. And the next thing is to add a constraint here between vertical vector and here and that's going to be about 96 so i type in 96 here that's it i exit my workbench and you can see the point here i go to insert menu go to cuttings and select the whole tool from here first i select the point next i select the face now the point tool appears here now the first thing i want to add is this I want to have this up to last. Diameter is going to be 4 millimeters. Uh, let's go to thread definition. I want to have it threaded. So I select here metric thick type and it's going to be M5. And the thread depth is going to be 1 millimeter. Now that's it. I click on OK and the hole is created for me here. Now let's open part body here and I want to hide these sketches that I had used previously. So let's go to replication, insert, transformation, rectangular pattern and I select this hole here. By selecting this hole I want to have two of these and they are going to be about 100 and about 300 millimeters of course this is going to be in this direction because i want it to be in this direction i select the reference element and select this direction these two are going to be about 300 millimeters from each other so the second direction is going to be again two and here i want to have about 192 so i type in this and select the reference and this time I select this edge. Now I have create the four holes. So let's zoom out a little bit and now I can see the holes created for me. Now this part is finished. I save it. Now I need to add another part that's going to be up plate. And I click on XY plane, go to the sketch environment and draw a rectangle that's going to be a little big rectangle here and i need to add some corners here before adding any constraints so i select this and select this and add a corner here make sure that it has only two millimeters of radius and i will tell you why two millimeter and i selected this wrongly because i needed a corner and again I need two millimeters of radius okay now I select this and select this line this is gonna be 200 millimeters and this line is going to be 300 millimeters 390 of course okay now I need some symmetry so let's select this line this line and this line and add the symmetry and this, this, and this will have symmetry as well. Exit. And add a wall. So I go to generative sheet metal design environment. Make sure that the sheet metal parameter is the same as the previous. So I select the tangent. Parameters are 1 and 2. And the beam factor are going to be deactivated and change to 0.4 select wall tool and add the wall to this profile like this okay now at the site that I had the curves I mean the corners I need to add another wall I mean the wall on edge so I go to insert select wall on edge and rotate this shape like this because I know that I want to have this here 
I select this edge. Now I want it to go down and it goes down and I want to have about 10 millimeters of that and with bend is selected here I want to remove with bend this time I don't want to have any bending and you can see that I'd have some curve here and I want to have some you know extremities here if I go to extremities I can type in minus 10 and minus 10 here or I can double click these and remove the 10 millimeters from this so they are both the same so I click on OK and that's it now I have my shape and I do not have any bending here this time I save this and go to assembly design in next section